Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality and today I just wanted to do a flip through of these two little sunflower journals. My previous video was how I made them, a tutorial, and they're made out of a sunflower seed packet so you could apply this to any seed packet that you had. I really wanted to find a vintage sunflower seed packet but I did find this really nice size sunflower packet from the Dollar Tree. This is a bigger size than a normal seed packet that you would get at any store, really. Um, I know there are some, some like bigger packets of seeds, but the typical size is smaller than, than this one. But I just wanted to do a flip through because I'm putting these up in my Etsy shop for the spring. And these also could be used for fall as well. But um, I just think they turned out super cute. And if you want to know how I made them, go back to my previous video and you'll see. So they are a super chunky little journal. And there is a ch charmed angle here. And I made, uh, made it out of a Tim Holtz lobster clasp that has a chain on it. And then this really cute sunflower charm that I picked up at Hobby Lobby and then I just had these other beads in my stash and then it's held on by this little pull here and I have a I'll have put a link down below for them there from Amazon it is one signature obviously and I did a pamphlet stitch and then I is tied up with the sunflower ribbon and that was from Hobby Lobby as well and then I decorated it on the front with this little fake sunflower from Hobby Lobby as well. I stitched the seed packet to a piece of scrapbook paper that I had in my stash on the inside here. And then I made a pocket and then a tag with some yellow paper and I stamped sunflowers on that. And then here is some more scrapbook paper that I had. It was actually a piece that I cut down and saved between the two books. And so it left a little edge here that I used another piece of scrapbook paper and just stitched it on. And then some fun crocheted lace on the side. And then here is a yellow lined paper that I stamped with the sunflower, some vintage manuscript paper. This is a page from a seed uh, catalog that has sunflowers. And then here I had an, there's an altered paper clip with this cut apart. This was some sunflower scrapbook. It was a kit that I had in my stash from years ago. And then this is some craft paper. I think it was packaging from something that I kept, but it just had this really neat texture on it and I thought it went really well. I sewed some rickrack on that page. And then on this side, I just stuck some, these are pizza tickets. I don't know where I got those from. They were just in my stash. It says straw hat pizza. <laughs> and then this is a piece of a vintage seed catalog ad. So that's in here. I think I cut it apart and there's two of these pages. Here is a yellow glassine bag and I put some stickers and then a journaling card in there. This is, oh, there's this washi tape that was from Hobby Lobby. And then here's another piece of that seed catalog page. Here's a yellow ledger book page a little it's actually a little mini ledger book it's really cute and then this is some vintage grid paper that I had and some yellow lace here's another piece of scrapbook paper that has really pretty sunflowers and glitter it's pretty the glitter doesn't come off so that's nice and then this is some vintage lace this has this really fun crinkly texture like it was dyed but it's actually that's the way it was and then on this side 
is a belly band and I made it with a Reader's Digest book page that I had pulled out and it just had sunflowers in there. And then this is an old um, receipt book page. Over here, this was a cut apart from that sunflower kit that I told you about, so I just made it a corner, put another little journaling card there, and some yellow grid paper. This is a little pocket page that I made from a yellow popcorn bag. This is a vintage, I think it's a typing or manuscript book. Not typing, it is definitely a manuscript, manuscript book. And this is a vintage sunflower page from a gardening book. On this page is some yellow lined paper and I stamped it with a sunflower and then just put some yellow Monopoly money with an altered paper clip there. And let's see, I accidentally hooked both of these pages together. This is the other uh, seed, vintage seed packet advertisement page. This was some paper that I dyed with some a template and some hot cocoa, or just, I think it was just regular cocoa. Yeah, it didn't have the sugar in it. I just used that in, it was dyeing it basically like tea, but I used the cocoa and you laid the template down on top of it. So that turned out really cool. I did do a short video. I'll try and link it down below. It was one of my little shorts. And then on this side, I had this little craft mini glassine bag. And then I had the sunflower cut apart from scrapbook paper. So I just, I sewed on the bag to make it a, a double pocket and then just glued that down on top and stuck Monopoly and this vintage ticket there. This was just a vintage uh, sheet music page with some washi tape. And then here I added some crochet lace. This is the other side of that dyed paper. I added a sticker. This was scrapbook paper. I just made it a little side tuck. And then this is a piece of that sunflower scrapbooking kit. I added some ribbon on there. This is a, another cut apart. I just really liked it with the sunflower there. And that just kind of slips in. And here are the other sides to the pages. Another little tuck there. And I just stuck a couple pieces of note paper. Another uh, belly band with a sunflower cut apart there, and this is a vintage message pad in that perfect yellow color. And then I put a sunflower stamp there, and then this says, You are my sunshine. Here's the other side of that seed catalog page. I made a little pocket with some scrapbook paper and then this was a sticker and it has a quote that says, Spring is a careful artist who paints each flower with delicate workmanship by Roger Ray. And I just stuck some vintage Monopoly money and a card, the other one. Here's some pom-pom trim. I sewed it to the back of that seed page just to give it a little bit of stability. Here's the other side of that craft paper. I sewed some fun trim on that side. Here's another paper clip. And then this was the other side of the sunflower seed packet, but there wasn't a picture there. So I added this vintage little seal. It's in German. And I think it's a sunflower, but the German word down here is like a the name of a resort or something like that. So that doesn't is not that doesn't mean sunflower. It just 
that's the name of the resort and this is their logo logo but I just thought it was cool because it was a sunflower and then let's see I think this got stuck here there we go and this was just a scrap so I put that there I altered a flash card with a sunflower cut apart and some rickrack and added some ribbon and twine at the top for a tag and then this is the last the back of the book here did a similar pocket on the back and stamped a sunflower on the tag and then this is the other side of that scrap of paper I just love it with the crow and the sunflowers and then the back is here that's just the back of the sunflower packet so I think they turned out so cute. So hopefully you, if you're interested in these, they'll be over on my Etsy shop. I'll have the link down below. I'll try and link the previous video for this book of how I made it, as well as how I made those cocoa papers, the cocoa dyed papers. And let's see, let's go ahead and just do a really quick flip through on the other one. It's very similar. For the most part and so this one will be seed pack sunflowers seed journal number one in my Etsy shop and then this will be number two the outside is pretty much the same all very similar so we'll just I'll just flip through real quick so it has does have different journaling cards this one there, stamp there. The catalog page is different. Is that? I loved making these little books because they were just so quick and easy, and it was just a fun subject. And I loved gathering all the sunflower items, and I just think they're perfect for spring journals. This one, it, it looks like it's upside down, but actually it's because it was a spiral book, and it the opposite side is going the right direction. So, yeah, that's the way that ha happened. All right, this belly band's a little different because it was from the same Reader's Digest book. I just cut it down the middle and it included some of the sunflowers as well. I really liked that page and I only had the one, so that's what I, I tried to do it so I could add it in both books. There's a sticker that says, the sun shines upon all alike, and that says it's an English proverb. I did have two of these seed journal, or seed page advertisements, so that was cool. On this side, I used this die cut on the little glassine bag. This I actually made a little pocket. The other one just has the pocket in the back, the two pockets in the back. And then I only had one of these die cuts, so I included that in this one. And then this has a different journaling card as the other. Some little tiny stickers over there. Another belly band. This quote here says, flowers always make people better and happier. They are sunshine, food, and medicine to the soul. That's by Luther Burbank. I don't know who that is, but 
It's a nice quote, and that's a little pocket there. I had this Mrs. Grossman sunflower in my sticker in my stash, so that's in this book. Here's some same similar altered flash card. And there's the back cover. And that is it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing those, and maybe that'll give you inspiration to make your own little seed packet journals. I saw these on Pinterest. And I'll try and find, I can't remember if I saved them or not, but if I have the link for the Pinterest post that I saw um, for the inspiration, I'll put that down below as well. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Leave me a comment and subscribe, and I'll see you again next time. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality. Bye. God bless.